Hey, what's up everyone? Today, I'll be showing you some pretty cool stuff with mob spawning, custom mobs, and bosses. And as you'll notice, I am not in my redstone village, and that's because of the last thing on this list, bosses. I would rather not have the wither and ender dragon destroy my whole village just yet, so I decided to make a new super flat world to show off this stuff. Uh, so before I jump in, I wanted to let you know all of the links are in the description below. Uh, all command block commands are in the description below, like always, and let's jump right in. This one's by far the easiest command you'll see today. Summon pig one block above the Y level of this command block. Does exactly what you'd think. Not too complex. Pretty simple. Uh, wow, fat piggy. More than one pork chop. So, let's say you wanted to make a uh, pig or a sheep or a zombie, whichever, uh, without a command block. And let's say you wanted to use a spawner hidden in the wall or something. Well, you can do that now too. Uh, in before 1.7.2, you could not make spawners. You'd have to go to MC Edit and Custom Script it. Not anymore. Now there is set block. Uh, you can use set block command for mob spawners, and you can extend it as you can see here. Uh, with entity sheep. So what happens is set block on exactly this command block X, Y, and Z uh, sets a mob spawner that replaces it. Uh, and the mob spawner has an extended entity ID of sheep. So this does pretty much what you'd expect. You click that. There you go. Sheep spawner and sheep start spawning. Now before we get overwhelmed by sheep, I would prefer to take these guys out because the buying is a little obnoxious. And on to the last one. Uh, let's say you wanted a piggy, but you wanted a piggy that's, I don't know, writable or has a name or something. Well, <laughs> I've got both here. Uh, this is the same summon command with the pig one block above y value, however extended with these curly brackets. Uh, you'll notice this says saddle uh, colon one. The it's basically just saying saddle true. Uh, the next one is custom name piggy. Uh, you can pretty much derive what you think that does. And the last one is custom name visible, also set to true. One. Uh, pretty simple. You click it. Piggy! He's here. And he's writable. Uh, it's just same stuff. Has a saddle. Now, I'll go over the repeater circuit here in just a second. Uh, you can also do, like, equipment and writing or anything like that with mobs. So this one is a summon witch command. Uh, same one Y above this. However, this witch is writing a bat. And that is a very potent combination. Oh, difficulty mode. Oops. There we go. All fixed. Uh, this one with a batch, a little bat, uh, witch riding. This would suck if you came across this in the wild. Uh, witch throwing splash potions, the harming, poison, etc. While that bat just flies her around, so you can't really hit her. That would really suck. Uh, but I wanted to showcase with the worst mob that I have here uh, why you don't want to put command blocks on timers. Now, this is just a simple and switch, so. Whenever you hit this, it'll go around. Oops, reset it the other day. Oh no! That is why you don't want to have timers. You get stupid overwhelmed really quick. Not a good idea. <laughs> and as all these witches are going around, I'm just going to go straight into difficulty peaceful real quick. <laughs> All the witches disappear, but the bats don't. It's awesome. Okay, so last but not least on the custom mobs front. This is the most complex command I'll show you today. And it's really not complex, it's just convoluted. It's still the set block mob spawner. And it's replacing this command block with a mob spawner. But it's replacing it with a zombie spawner. And the zombie spawner has some special stuff with this spawn data command right here. Uh, it's going to be spawning with equipment. 
So as you can tell from all these ridiculous square brackets, curly brackets, it's really just spawning with diamond armor and a sword. Uh, as you can notice, this first one is item 276 and count 1. That's a diamond sword. And it goes on uh, diamond chest, I believe, diamond legs, and diamond boots, and finally diamond helmet. You have to do the item he's holding first. If it's a sword, if it's a hat, it doesn't matter. The first equipment item that he's going to have is going to be in his hand. So you need to make sure you don't have the helmet as the first slot or something like that. Pretty simple. Uh, I'll have this command in uh, the description below because that's redonkulous. But as you'll notice, it starts spawning zombies with full-blown diamond armor, diamond swords, and it'll continue to do so. Uh, <laughs> not exactly something you want to run across in a normal uh, dungeon. Pretty potent. So here we go. Last but not least, we'll be going off of the bosses. Now, I didn't put buttons on these because if I hit these and destroyed this world before I recorded this video, I would have been pissed. So, this one, it does exactly what you'd expect. Summon the Wither Boss to above this. So, not hard. This one summons a witch riding on top of an Ender Dragon. The you want to talk about potent combinations, that would suck. Uh, in hard mode, Ender Dragons do 19 hearts of damage, I believe, or 19 health, so 9.5 hearts, almost your entire damage, and if a witch hit you with a splash potion, you'd be screwed. <laughs> so, I wanted to end this on a high note and just show off these two as they're spawning. Ooh. And there we go. <laughs> the potent combination, destroying, and everything else. So if you guys like this video, uh, leave a like below, and I'll show you guys some cool stuff next time.